We're on Big Brother 26 episode 7 and before we get into the video or the review portion of the video I do have a little quick story because it's a disclaimer. I if, I hope some of y'all know but I am actually like a pro wrestler also and like so today is Wednesday and I have to go to work and I also have to go do a promotion for my wrestling show tomorrow and that was from 7 to 9 and obviously this episode comes on at 8 where I live here in Michigan, but I was really committed to watching Big Brother and putting your, this video out because I feel like the sooner you put out a video or review, the better. I literally rushed out from the event I was at at like 7.53. I think I looked at my phone, it was 7.53, and I was like 20 minutes from my house, and obviously I can't make 20 minutes turn into 7 minutes, but Big Brother always has a long intro anyway, so I figured I could at least maybe get to like the like the first commercial like I wouldn't miss that much cuz I take notes when I watch but I like before right before I got on the freeway like it was like maybe two minutes before eight I was like oh wait I can watch this in the car dangerous don't do that guys disclaimer do not listen to me but I put the video on in my car put it in the cup holder so or the show on it's live I'm listening to it but I was not able to take notes so I don't really have anything to say about the beginning portion the only thing I can remember that came from that was because then I got home and I took notes I watched it like normal but I missed some of the beginning the only thing that I can remember is Tucker talking about his alliances and all the alliances he has because he's pretty much aligned with almost every single person in the house but his main alliance it seemed like his number one is actually T Core. It seems like it. And I think he said his number one alliance, I forgot what it was called. I didn't write it down. It really sucks doing a review without making notes. I think it was him, T Core, and maybe Quinn, maybe. No, he is Quinn. Oh my god. Him, T Core, and Chemo, maybe. Maybe. That could be wrong. But he's in a lot of alliances. But. The, when I could actually start taking notes, ironically, also has to do with alliances. And it's probably the biggest thing to come out of this episode, and it's That's the Group. We see Cam, Chelsea, Cedric, and t -Core outside. Well, Cam, Cedric, and Chelsea are kind of like, we, we find out about the core. Their main alliance is, oh, I just remembered what else happened. So, uh, well, it's kind of the same thing. So Quinn talked about how he's staying loyal to the Pentagon. He likes that alliance, but he knows that he's at the bottom. And he was talking to Brooklyn about that too, and Brooklyn agreed. They're staying loyal to that alliance, but they know that they're at the bottom. They know that those three are the core. Ironically, that's the name of those three, Cedric, Chelsea, and Cam. Uh, they mentioned that the Pentagon is their number one alliance. That's their. That seems like the real like big alliance this season that's actually going to stay true. At least I think so. At least the core. Those three seem like they will. I'm going to, I'm going on a tangent. That's the group. Those four are out there. Those three with T-Core. And I'm not going to lie. Like they say like, oh, another black winner. Let's look out for each other. All that stuff. And to be honest, it's kind of starting to happen every season. And like I see the stuff on Twitter where people are like, oh, yeah, the cookout ruined this game. Because like now like people of color can't even talk to each other but like I don't know personally I feel like I, I feel like weird about it because clearly it's kinda of, it's a weird subject because I feel like Angela saw them outside and she said that's the group to Quinn and Quinn didn't want it to be like oh it's because they're black but I don't think I don't think Angela meant it like that. It's just, it's just four people talking. And, like, they'll say, oh, just because we're talking doesn't mean we're talking. But they actually were talking about game. So it's kind of, it's a weird thing. Because, yes, somebody could see four black people talking and they could say, oh, yeah, they're an alliance. But they did say that they were going to look out for each other. Like, I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to say what I'm thinking. But in my head, it makes sense, and I know what I'm trying to say. It's like Angela called out those four, and Quinn went thinking that it was like a black thing, but she didn't mean it as a black thing, but they are all black. So, like, t -Core talked to her later on in the episode and was like, hey, like, it looks like it's because we're all black, but it's like, y'all were talking game. It's You know what I mean? So rather your race is this race or that race, y'all were talking game. Y'all were saying that y'all were going to have each other back. And like Chelsea was saying, like, you're not far off, but I mean, having each other's back is the same as an alliance. At the end of the day, you won't nominate them, you'll probably vote with them, like, or vote to keep them. 
it's a weird subject thing. But anyway, uh, Angela uh, saw this. She said to Quinn, that's the group. Quinn took it as she thinks all these black people are in an alliance. That's the group we got to get out. She, and I don't know if she actually meant those, but she says that she meant those are the people she want to work with. Quinn told t -Core, who was his number one alliance, t -Core told Chelsea, t -Core told Cedric, I'm pretty sure she told Cam. Uh, we saw Chelsea who confronted Angela. Angela said, no, like, because they kind of twisted her. It was like a game of telephone, because she just said, that's the group. But by the time Chelsea told Angela, <laughs> Chelsea said, and I'm pretty sure Cedric was the one that twisted it, because he was like, that's the people we got a gun for, or get out, or something like that, or look out for, I don't know. It's not what she said. Is it what she meant? I don't know. I don't think any of us know. I do like that they kind of went to each other's face, though. But t Core messed up, but also Quinn messed up. Quinn should never did that. Quinn is good. I like him. And he might be my winner pick a couple of episodes ago. He might have been my winner pick a couple of episodes ago. But he's kind of messing up. Like, t he told Angela about his power in the beginning. And now he's, he's in all these alliances, so he pretty much can never win HOH. Right? Like, he should never win it because he's in all these alliances. And he just talks, like, way too much. Like, he he should have just not told t -Core that. t -Core told her, and Angela blew up because she's crying. Because then t -Core brought up the race thing. She's like, no, 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 don't say that, don't say that, don't say that. Which I don't blame her, kind of. Like, I don't know. It's, it's weird because, like... She just didn't want to be affiliated, you know, with that word. You know, like, it, it can be kind of stereotype, you know, like... If you're older, she just didn't want to be affiliated with the word. It was, it was kind of weird. Later on in the episode, we do see Angela. Like, because she blew up. She blew up. And, like, it was funny because Cedric hugged her. It's all over Twitter when Cedric hugged her. And was, even before I saw Twitter, I was like, damn. It looks like Cedric's trying not to laugh. <laughs> like, that's what I saw. And now it's on Twitter everywhere where everyone was like, oh, yeah, Cedric was trying not to laugh. She kind of clocked their alliance. Because they don't really have T-Core in it, but like that's the tw that's the cores, those three. Cedric, Chelsea, and Cam. The veto nominations. We got Chelsea, Kenny, Angela, and Lisa. And Chelsea picks out of the bag the two people that are also going to be playing in the veto competition. And she picks out Brooklyn and Joe. This is pretty much the exact same lineup we had last week, except we got Chelsea playing now instead of the person who went home, Matt. Uh, the veto competition, I'm not going to lie, I was actually eating during this time. So, it looked like a... So, I didn't really take much notes, but I don't think it was much notes to take for this. It was like a computer-like setting. It looked very foggy in there, in my opinion. And they were stacking these discs. And it looked hard as hell. I'm not going to lie. I was like, how are they doing this? It seemed like a very tedious challenge. But Kenny it seemed like he kind of beasted through it. Because, like, they were very thin discs. And you had to, just, like, stack them sideways. Because at first, I thought they were just going to stack them up. You know, but no, they had to stack them sideways and then one on top, sideways, one on top, and like it was definitely a skill veto competition. And Brooklyn was in second place. She came. In, speaking of that, where is Rubina? Is she still on this show? Like, cause I'm pretty sure she has zero DRs again. Like, what? Where is this girl at? I, I'm, this was my favorite. She was my favorite. I thought she was going to be a big personality. She is just like silent. Like I feel like she's on a Casey run. But not Casey. Because Casey was at least competing. Well actually I don't know. Maybe Casey didn't compete in the beginning. I felt like she did. I don't know. Because you know Casey was real quiet. In season 20. Like real real quiet. Got no screen time. But Rubina is going episodes in a row now with no DRs and not really getting any screen time, not saying anything. It's kind of getting ridiculous, not going to lie. Mainly because, like, that used to be my favorite. Clearly, now she's not. But the reason I brought up Brooklyn is because Brooklyn still is one of my favorites. Brooklyn came in second. Kenny got the win. Kenny says that he's not going nowhere. He's a fighter, and he's not going nowhere. In my head, I'm like, yeah, you are a fighter as long as you win. Because, like... Live feeds wise, he's been like dragging himself around the house, talking about how he wants to leave, he can't wait to leave, all this, yada yada, blah 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 blah. That's why the veto winner was kind of surprising because like we thought he wanted to leave. I would have personally, of these three, wanted him to leave, but now he can't. And now, 
Well, we'll get to it. I kind of hate these bathroom scenes when someone's showering and someone's just sitting there talking. It's just weird to me, personally. Tucker's showering. Mackenzie's in the bathroom. They're talking. Tucker says the best time to get information out of people is in weird situations or moments, unexpected moments. So he started talking to her about a power. Somebody else walked in the room, too. I think it was Brooklyn. I don't know. He basically was saying, I know you got the power, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. She said no. He kind of said like he thinks he knows what it was, and she definitely denied that. Later on, she revealed to Tucker that she knew how to power. And it was so funny when she revealed it because she was like, I didn't tell anybody except Leah, Chelsea, and the people I trust. And I'm like, God damn. You, these powers, like, because, like, Angela hates Tuck, hates Quinn now. So, like, Angela's going to reveal Quinn's power. Everyone knows about Mackenzie's power. Quinn's power is so much better than Mackenzie's power. Uh, Quinn really messed up. He could have, and Quinn's the type that if he would not, I'm jumping all over the place. But if Quinn wouldn't have told about his power, I think he would have made a good move. But now everyone, know, well, Everyone's gonna know that Quinn has that power. I, I, there's no doubt in my mind it's gonna happen. Everyone pretty much knows that Mackenzie has the power. Everyone. But Mackenzie says she's letting people know that she has it so that they'll know, like, look, I could use it on YouTube. Because she didn't really tell, like, everything it does. Like, but she kind of... Uh, yeah. Like, it's a veto. It's, it's basically a veto, Mackenzie, at this point. We get to the veto ceremony, and, of course, Kenny uses the veto on himself, even though he's been saying he wants to leave and all this stuff. Like, as long as he's got power, or, like, I feel like if he even was safe, if he has safety or power or he's winning something, of course he doesn't really want to go. But it is kind of, like, just irritating to watch. Like, Brooklyn called it out today, like, saying, like, oh, this is kind of disrespectful. Like, you just keep talking about wanting to leave. Uh, but he was on himself, and Tucker actually volunteered to be a, a pawn in this situation to Chelsea. But then later on, he went back on it, saying, like, oh, maybe we should flesh out Mackenzie's power. Like, he got scared after a while. But Chelsea still nominated Tucker, and she flat out said, look, you are not the target. I hope you win AI. Lisa feels like she's not the target. Oh, that's something else that happened. Lisa went up to Chelsea, asking up before, like, when I was in the car driving. She asked Chelsea, was she the target at all? And Chelsea said, no, of course she's going to say that. Angela is upset, mainly at Quinn. And she's saying that she's going to go after Quinn. I feel like this is it's so weird. Because, like, if Angela won, there's no way she's going after Quinn, right? Like, that would be not a smart move at all. <laughs> that would be such a bad move. But I would love for Angela to win the HOH. Like, I would love for, as long as she don't put up Quinn. I don't want her to put up Quinn. But, I don't know. I'm ready for something different to happen in the house. Because even though it's week two, it feels like we know where this show is going. Until we get Angela and Lisa out the house and Kenny. Pretty much those three. We're getting the same nominees. You know, so I don't think any of those three are going to make jury. It seems like that's who the house wants out and that's what they're getting. But that's it for this video, guys. I'm sorry if this was all over the place. It's just that I was... I didn't get to watch and pay attention like to the show like I would like to. I don't get to watch the show live tomorrow, unfortunately, because I do have a show that I will be at. But by the time my show is over, actually, and I drive back home, the show will probably be up on CB on Paramount Plus. So I'll watch the episode, take my notes like normal, film my review, or maybe maybe I'll wait till the next morning. I don't know. But just be on the lookout for that guys. Leave this uh, video a like, comment, subscribe, share it on all fun social media. I'm finally starting to get some friends that watch this show, so like, if y'all want to join me and become one of my friends that watch Big Brother, leave it in the comments, hit me up, let's talk about this show, because this is my, this is literally my favorite show in the world. Alright guys, I'm getting out of here, I will see y'all tomorrow, or Friday.